before the vid starts, I'm gonna put this shit right at the beginning. Let me get 10,000 likes in this vid, and that's on Granny. On, on the grandmother, 10K likes, please. Get the vlog going? A little bit. Might as well, right? Yeah. Wait, aren't Hold you on. that guy from TikTok? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, hold this. I wanted to test oh. the camera. I just thought about it. So, one thing that I really hate, because I was like, what did I need to talk about? I didn't need to talk about it, but, like, I wanted to say something. I hate when bodybuilders come on my shit and tell me I'm, like, my form is bad. That's, like, me <laughs> coming to, like, a, going up to Chris Bumstead or, like, just any bodybuilder and me, like, more of a powerlifter being, like, Yo, your diet is shit, bro. You need to fix this up. Like, I don't know. Like, you don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Because people think the form is bad, which went like, okay, for bench, right? If I have a bigger arch in my... Which, my arch isn't even bad, bro. My ROM is, like, huge for a power Yeah, lifter. you're not, like, hamstring poppy. Yeah. Like, I, I don't have a fucking bad ROM. But, like, even though, like, still, I have an arch going and my scapula is retracted and shit. And, like, oh, that's bad form. Like, dude, when your scapula is retracted and you have an arch in your back, it takes stress off your joints and your shoulders. Like, that's literally scientifically fucking proven like it's, it's good for you yeah. to do that yeah you're literally supposed to technically have an art a little even a minute arch yeah. like in your back when you bench and like body was like oh this form sucks and i mean I'm like, same with sumo right like, people be going ham on sumo but it's like i mean if yeah. sumo was that much easier why wouldn't larry wheels or eddie hall pull yeah. it because i mean and like i i will give it like i think the vast majority of <laughs> devious as fuck i feel like the vast I think the vast majority of people are probably stronger sumo, but there's still people that aren't. And also, like, yeah. dude, I've learned both, and sumo took me, like, literally four months more to learn. Because sumo is way more technical. And that's the thing with powerlifting. Like, even hypothetically, if my form was bad for me, like, it doesn't take away from the fact that I'm strictly doing it for leverages and to get the most out of it. Like, I'm yeah. not fucking benching like that because I There's some it's... people who do, like, a weird medium sumo, too, where, like, yeah. their feet are a lot closer, and then there's people that, like, are touching it, like, their toes like to the barbells. powerlifting is about technique and taking advantage of your leverages. It's, it's literally about, like, 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 fucking with your form to where you can literally squeeze out as much strength as you can. That's powerlifting. So when bodybuilders come to me and say that shit, I'm like, bro, literally suck my fucking cock, dude. <laughs> like, that shit is so annoying, man. Like, yeah. Not even, like, that's real shit. Though. I feel that. I feel like, that. Me, me when my form is objectively great and then a bodybuilder comes over and says it's bad when they have no idea what they're talking about. Yeah. Me when I literally could just fucking strangle them. <laughs> well, I, I'm like a, I'm actually like a form Nazi, but like I don't be going up to people in the gym or like leaving comments and shit. Right, bro. Everyone has different styles of training and everyone trains for different things. I know. I'm not training for leverage, I'm training for breaking down my muscle and shit. I'm, yes or no? Menace. How do you feel about form? What? Form. People calling out your form being bad. Stop, shut up. He's a straight menace. He's menacing. Is your form good? Uh oh. Aaron's a menace right now. We shouldn't, <laughs> we shouldn't <laughs> ask him right now. Shad, <laughs> what do you how do you say? feel about form? You go through full range of motion? With sumo? Or with anything? I mean, with most things, yeah. If anyone wants to comment with my form, at least be stronger than me. Damn. Like I feel like if you're the type of person to say this person's form is bad, if it's if it if you don't even really know what you're looking at, like okay, if someone's deadlifting conventional and he looks like a cat, like okay, like sure. Yeah. But even then, like there's been like studies that show like a little spinal like curvature is okay. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, the upper back like as soon as you comment saying someone's form is bad, that's how you know you're fucking brain dead. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how people care. I know, bro. <laughs> Another thing, uh like I, I hated Max for like a long time for real. <laughs> That's some real shit. No, I didn't like hate him, but I was like I wasn't fond of him just because. And then I was, but I, I was really was... we were young. Well, like I was young and like I was really like I wasn't as like mentally mature. So like that stuff would make me mad when like now what? it doesn't. So then I saw Max at the young at uh, when we all went to Gary's house for the young LA meeting. Like John, Mac... yeah, and I was like I saw Max cross table. I was like you know what? Like do I even really like dislike Max? I was like. <laughs> I was like, yo, man, and then I said, like, hi to him, and we talked, and, like, now we're like, now we're like this. Yeah. Now we're like this, for yeah. real. If you don't like somebody, just be, just tell them to have a good day, for real. That'll get to them. I'm have granny. Yeah. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! I was going, really, I was going easy 
Oh, I'm gonna toss the phone out the window. I love it, bro. It's so funny. Holy shit. For some reason, in the in the uh, driver's seat, you have more like. Yeah. You don't feel it. Like I know that. Like I've been in the passenger on urine drives, and I'm like, I'm like this. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> Fun just off. We go. Or, bro, I, or like so I, I'm like Max, pull up to zoo. We can just get a quick workout in. And bro, like, pulls up. I'm waiting in the car for him. I didn't even got here. He calls me. He's like, Yeah, I'm banned. Bro, no, what? Uh, Steve, the manager. Like, that's what you Yeah. So pretty much it's like. So we can't go I, to the gym. I even said. Wait, they okay. let Zach Jennings in. I know, but Zach, Zach didn't voice his opinion like I did and stuff. So pretty much at the end of the day, it came down to their butt hurt because I voiced my unbiased opinion about quality of the company and the clothes rather than just bashing Bradley as a human, which I definitely could do like other people have done, like on Young LA, but I decided to hold back on that and just give my honest opinion where I was like, yeah, the stitching would always fall off on my clothes because it would. Yes. People wanted my opinion. I could. I even told them I could have very well put it on my main account that has 700,000 people watching me, but I put it on my spam account, and yeah, he still got butt hurt. And then he mentioned me talking about the clearly copyrighted Baki clothing that they came out with, which I don't think ba that Baki had contact with fucking Bradley Martin and like sent that through. I, okay, I don't. I'm not gonna voice my opinions on that shit because I I enjoy training at this like. <laughs> I need powerlifting equipment, but like Max could say his opinion. You know what I'm saying? Well, it would be say different because it was like, if it was like Sush, for instance, like everyone saw that drama and stuff. I can get that. Well, dude, but me, who was just what? voicing my honest opinion, and I was actually on Raw Gear, so my opinion's valid. I wore the clothes. I promoted the clothes. What the fuck? I had bad. Damn. I had bad in. Bro, I have a screenshot of Steve adding me on Snapchat. Just to see my stories. Bro. <laughs> bro, come the fuck on, bro. Come on, bro. Like, let, free, free Max for real. Free Max. Steve Rogger. I still have him saved to Steve Rogger. I'm like the most dead ass honest person ever. Like, when Bradley asked me why I left the company, I told him I didn't like the quality, quality of the clothes. I wasn't making any money because nobody was buying the clothes. I didn't like the clothes. They look like bro, see, highlight markers. I, I don't have a problem with anyone on raw gear or the brand itself but like <laughs> it's like you wonder people wonder why like the brand gets shit on it it's shit like this bro like come on man i said that to bradley martin skull i said i didn't like the clothing my fan base didn't either can you understand that and he said no what? just doesn't take any criticism ever <laughs> Bro. Said, there's well, plenty of said, criticism. Uh, plenty of it. Well, we, well, we were gonna go to the gym, but uh, Max is fucking perma banned, so. Let's just go in the back door. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was so shocked. I was like, I was like, hey, can I get a day pass? And then he was all. And he walked, took a mile around the desk, and he was like. I need to talk to you about it outside. We can just go to the party gym. Okay. That's just so petty, dude. See, guys, this is why I don't want to voice my opinion on half the shit, bro. Like, even even when you're in today's generation, even when you're when you're very generous and honest and like giving a heartfelt opinion, you still get fucked. Yeah. Authenticity is dead. So we're gonna head to No Limit Training Facility because Max is fucking banned for whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally oppressed right now. Uh, your bro's oppressed right now. So we're going to No Limit, which is clutch as fuck. And literally, I shit you not, I have 
He's an oppressed natural. I, <laughs> bro's actually a oppressed daddy, for real. Remember when I said that I was gonna gatekeep the name of the gym? Because I was like, you know what? If I tell some people, like, because I have a lot of influence, especially in LA, you know, because a lot of like influencers here know of me and they watch my stuff or whatever. So I was like, I'm gonna gatekeep it. You know, I'm not gonna spoil the name. Then you guys got kind of annoying with it. And like, if anyone, if it was posted anywhere, people would like tag me and be like, no, look, it's, a, and I was like, all right, it's not that big of a deal, right? <laughs> So then I spoke up, told the name of the gym before it was even remodeled. Bro, literally the other day, like Bryce Hall, all the fucking raw gear athletes. Oh were my there. god, I saw that on my Bro, Every and single Gymshark athlete was there. Yeah, all the Gymshark athletes went there to do a photo shoot, like literally all after I told the name, which is crazy. And basically the universe revolves around me and I'm an egotistical maniac. And I think the entire reason of that gym being publicized now is because of me. <laughs> no, but. But I, I actually don't care that people are going there. I'm actually happy because the owner like wanted publicity for the gym, and I, I brought a lot, obviously. And I, I'm not gonna say I'm the I'm not actually gonna say I'm the reason for it. But, You're a big um, reason of it. Just saying. But all the Gymshark people still follow you, so they were like, "Fuck, let's go to this gym." Yeah, but uh, I, but I am happy that people went there because the owner wanted publicity, and, 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 and you know everyone can go gym, right? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. But what I, I just think is funny is that like I called that that would happen. I literally said all the LA influencers are gonna pull up if I. I, like suppose the name and then they did but uh it's obviously okay and i don't have a problem with anyone other all your athletes and like no we don't uh, gatekeep like over here yeah we're like bryce hall or anything like, I, I i'd fucking hang out with bryce hall just to see how bro is like you know what i'm saying all right we're finally here bro how about me you fucking james sush aaron everyone in the world combine our money and make the fucking greatest gym of all time
that's a workout done. Uh, I still feel like shit because I'm sick. That's another thing, bro. I was like, I look, I don't look that good today, and I was like, and then I just realized, oh yeah, I'm fucking sick. Bro, you know what it is though? It's your fucking caloric intake, dog. You be eating less than me, Pete. Cut. Stop capping. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the vid. I'm gonna wrap it up there. Uh, free Max, and tomorrow, or I'm gonna say that. Oh, yeah, Free Max, and I'll see you guys in the next one for real. <laughs> All right, that should be good. Yeah!